Unlocking alliteration. Spot the sparkling sounds. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to be talking about a fascinating topic in English language learning, alliteration. You've probably encountered alliteration before, perhaps in poetry, songs, or even everyday speech, but you might not have realized it. In this video, we're going to focus on identifying alliteration in text to help you become more proficient in recognizing this descriptive language technique. Alliteration is a stylistic device where the same letter or sound starts at the beginning of closely connected or consecutive words. It is often used to make language more memorable or entertaining. An example would be, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Identifying alliteration in a text can be a fun challenge. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. 1. Read the text. Start by reading through the text to get an overall understanding of its content. 2. Look for repeated sounds. As you read through again, pay close attention to the sounds at the beginning of words. Are there any sounds that repeat in closely connected or consecutive words? 3. Confirm the alliteration. Once you've found repeated sounds, ensure that these words are close enough to each other to create a noticeable effect. Remember, alliteration is about creating impact with sound, so if the words are too far apart, it may not be considered alliteration. Let's take an example sentence. She sells seashells by the seashore. The repeated S sound in the sentence makes this a great example of alliteration. Now that you know what to look for, practice is key. Try finding examples of alliteration in your favorite books, poems, or even in the lyrics of songs. You could even try writing your own sentences using alliteration. Identifying alliteration in text is a valuable skill that can enhance your understanding and appreciation of the English language. We hope this video has made you more confident in spotting this engaging technique. Remember, the more you practice, the easier it gets. Happy learning and we'll see you in our next video where we'll explore another descriptive language technique, assonance.